May the Lord continue to strengthen the gift of hospitality and love in your midst. May the sense of fellowship only grow deeper as you expand your circle to welcome new members into the body and into this house. May you continue to welcome the stranger among you with open arms. May the Lord make you one just as he and the Father and the Spirit are one. Where there are places of discord, May you fight hard for reconciliation and unity. Do not let the enemy gain a circle. May you be slow to speak and quick to listen, and with the desire to truly understand and love one another. May the Lord fill you with hunger and thirst for his word, his kingdom, and his will. And may you never be satisfied with anything less than all that he desires for you. For nothing less than the fullness May you be strengthened with all might through his spirit in your inner being, so that through Christ you may that so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. May you be so rooted and grounded in his love that you live an unshakable life. May you be filled with all the fullness of God. And as you move forward into the next season, may you be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding so that you can walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him, bearing fruit in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. And above all, may your love for one another and for God never grow dim. May it burn like a brilliant bonfire, drawing many people to his light. Would you pray with me? Father God, I thank you for this church. I pray, Abba, that you would pour out your spirit upon it, God, that it would be that it truly would be a bonfire, God, drawing many sons and daughters into your kingdom. I pray, Abba, that we would be filled, that this church would be filled with a passionate zeal to know you and to love you with all that they have and all that they are. God, I pray that that first love fire would never go out. Father, you promised in your word that you would pour out your spirit on all flesh, God, that the sons and the daughters would dream dreams and the young men and the old men would prophesy. Abba, I pray, God, that you would pour out your spirit in this church, God. Fulfill your promise. Pour out revival and bless the work of their hands, Abba, this church that loves to serve and love others, God. Let that continue to shine amongst all the darkness in the world, God, that this, this place is a place where you can find love and that you can find those who will lift you up and encourage you and strengthen you, Lord. Thank you for this church. God bless it mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. And because the brethren have a great tradition already in their service manual, I'll go by it. seen from our own experience that the only thing in life that's constant is change. And this is true of our congregation. It's living and fluid. People come and go. New individuals and families move into our community and church life. Others depart, move away to new places, new experiences, and new opportunities. Today we share a time of farewell with our Pastor Jessica. Sister, when you were received into fellowship with this congregation, it was our joy and privilege to give you the right hand of fellowship, receive you in the circle of the church's love. God has blessed your ministry and used your gifts in this church's life. You shared your gift through counseling, prayer, fervent prayer, calling people to repentance, calling people to trust in God, calling people to experience the Holy Spirit on a deeper and personal level. Pastor, as you depart, may God bless you as you leave us. May God guide you as you go. May God use your gifts in ministry in Fredericksburg, even as they have been used here at Pleasant Hill. <clears throat> 